All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to plant a few um, bananas. I uh, got a pineapple right here. I just wanted to basically show um, the few people who um, who have already purchased plants. Basically, once you receive your once you receive your plants, uh, what you should do with them. So um, let's get started. So right here, I have the Lakatan banana. Then I have the white jade pineapple right here. I have a few more inside. Just want to do a short example of what of, of what you should uh, do in uh, a few different planting methods. So first and foremost, I have a, um, a this is a, a larger banana plant. After about six to uh, seven months of growth, you can expect it to look like this. Um, bananas won't grow through the winter time, so after about spring, you can expect them to start reaching heights like this. Um, big leaves, beautiful plant. But basically, to get to this stage, from this stage, you basically want to plant them the right way. So here's one lock of time banana that I, that I already planted right there. Um, basically, I took a grow bag. Uh, depending on your environment, if, if it floods a lot, you might want to plant them in a raised bed. Uh, it floods a lot out here, so I'm using these grow bags as a raised bed. I cut the bottom out of it, um, just like right here. Normally grow bags have a sealed bottom. Uh, so this is a sealed bottom on this grow bag and I just literally cut it, I cut the bottom off and it and it expands open and allows this soil to come in contact with the ground soil. So that's what I've done with this uh, little setup right here. Um, fill the grow bag with soil as normal. Um, you know, in Louisiana, we get a lot of rain. So if you're actually in a dry climate, you can actually just plant into the ground. But if you're in a, a, a very wet climate, you might want to plant a little bit higher. So that's that, that gets that out the way. Um, another thing is, another thing to note is how much space do you have? Uh, do you want to plant them in ground? So let's go check out a larger set of banana plants, like right here and right here. So they can, um, they can take up a, they can take up a good amount of space uh, one plant, the, like the one plant that you receive from me, it will easily uh, multiply into multiple trunks. So here's one, there's another one, there's about six in there, um, about six or seven in there. And you can see how large these plants are. So that's this is after uh, it was a young plant, like, like how you were receiving a male. And then after um, spring, we got the heat. And all the way to now, it's, it grew this height. So from spring to now, this is how much growth that little plant could put on. Okay. So you uh, you definitely want to uh, be wary of, do you have enough room to uh, grow it in the ground? Now in the grow bags, you have the advantage that you won't have to dig up the plant if you ever decide to, if you want to decide to move it, you can just tear the bag down. Or if you're using a plastic bag, you can just tear it down and it'll be easier to remove. So that's why I like, that's also why I like to plant into grow bags. Um, here's the uh, soil mix that I use. It says for flower, for flowers and vegetables. You basically want to grow your plants in a, a flower vegetable mix. Um, pineapples don't really care too much, but um, here's a large pineapple plant or a couple of them right here. Got some weeds in there. Don't worry about that. But you can see how large the pineapple plants get lizards crawling on them those are your friends okay so pineapples don't, aren't really too concerned but definitely definitely want to plant them in some good soil um, fertilizer you want to get you an organic uh, fertilizer bananas aren't too picky about what you feed them um, all right, right here I have a tomato fertilizer. This will work well for my banana, for my banana plants. So basically, you can uh, either transfer them into ground in the grow bag or in the grow bags, or you can uh, start them in these little pots here. So if we just take a look at one of the the root um, the root ball, this is called the root ball. Um, these can easily fit into this container. So if you're if you still haven't decided on where you want to put your plant and you have small little containers like this, this is about a half gallon or so. It's about a half gallon container. 
but um, you can even use six inch containers and those will work well for these uh, new starts. So since I have a lot of new starts and I actually wanna bring these plants to my farm, I'm gonna plant them into these containers. So this, is, this isn't the permanent spot for these containers, but it also uh, helps me to keep this tree watered and I can keep those new plants watered at the same time. The more water a banana plant gets, the faster it grows. So I'm just gonna pull this bag down here. This is an 80 pound bag, bear with me. <laughs> Pulling it with one hand. Okay. And we're gonna get set up right here. All right, so this is gonna be our little work area. Okay, so basically, bring these little banana plants over even a pineapple plant this is just out here for an example um, pop that right there this bag torn open now depending on the type of uh, soil you you use uh, like one person sent me a picture that he had some uh, chicken some chicken manure a chick a bag of chicken manure and I told him he, he should mix it so you definitely want to check the back of your bags like how this bag that I'm uh, using right now, uh, all of them have instructions, especially like the stuff with manure. They, they have instructions on the back of the bag on how much soil you should mix with those plants. So as we can see, this pineapple plant is basically planted into that half gallon container there. So let's continue. And we'll get a bunch of these Lakata bananas planted. So I'm just gonna pop them in get them pre um, pre ready um, bananas definitely aren't too fussy about the uh, soil you use but as always the better the soil the better the results each banana plant will, li will literally produce an unlimited amount of banana plants so all you need is one plant and um, in the years to come, like say for instance, I have a variety called Dwarf Cavendish. This variety is called Lakatan, but I have a variety called Dwarf Cavendish and it uh, it's already produced well over 300 banana pups from one, from one original pup that I got from Home Depot. So they're definitely high producers. You can see how easy it is to plant. Some of these containers already had some soil in them. I'm just reusing the containers with the uh, old soil that they had. And that's that. Come over here. Not gonna plant all of them. I'm just giving y'all a general idea of how y'all can go about doing y'all planting, doing y'all's plantings. keep attacking <laughs> all right so as you can see once those banana plants are standing up it's uh it means they're planted well you basically want to plant them up to i say no more than no more than this point right here but planting them up to the root ball is good Just cover that root ball a little bit that's a little bit better um so that's that um, then we get some fertilizer. We have our tomato fertilizer here. This is my preferred fertilizer. There's uh, specific banana fertilizers and whatnot, but you, you most likely have to order that from uh, companies that specialize in that type of uh, fertilizer mix. So I'm just gonna grab handfuls and send, I have this large banana plant here too. I'm going to uh, fertilize this because I haven't haven't fertilized it yet. I'm gonna give it a nice little amount there. I want to see some good growth from that guy. These little ones here, same. We're just gonna put enough to coat that top of that soil, and that will allow these to grow a little bit faster. Give them a little bit more nutrients. I know the bags of soil say that they. They are. Uh, they have nutrients in them for your plants, but a little bit of fertilizer will go a long way. Trust me. So 
So many mosquitoes out here, so I'm trying to speed this up. <laughs> Should have wore some uh, longer pants. All right. So that's good for right now. The, the pineapple plant, you, uh, if you order the pineapple plant from me, that will not need fertilizer. Um, pineapple plants actually need, um, they need a, a, a liquid fertilizer. So you can, uh, you can buy liquid fertilizer or you can make it. I'm, uh, I'm not sure how potent mine would be as far as feeding pineapples are concerned, but what I like to do is, I, uh, you see these weeds right here. This is actually covering, not covering, but it's uh, this bucket is filled with weeds, and you can see how dark, how dark that water is. And I like to tell, tell, I like to tell you know, show y'all that it's so dark that if I put my hands in there, it gets lost. So let's get out of here. So I definitely like to do that. But if you do uh, make your own fertilizer like that, your uh, liquid fertilizer, it's basically taking a bunch of weeds and making a tea, making a tea from it. It uh, can attract a lot of mosquitoes as we saw just now. So let's give them a light water. And I also forgot to fertilize Lakatan over here. it a little bit goes a long way as the plant gets larger i will feed it more but you can see the dark coloring of that water that's a bunch of nutrients so the darker your water um the better all right get this guy here that's that and i'm going to take care of the rest i gotta plant all these containers i just need to get a shirt on and uh and some longer pants because i'm getting bit up but basically that's a general idea of how you want to go about planting your new banana plants um have a bunch of plants to plant so i'm gonna hurry up and get to it i hope this video was helpful if you need to know anything more specific that i didn't cover is uh please contact me and let me know uh don't hesitate i'm i love to help you guys all right so i finished up what i'm going to do for this evening uh still have a few um Lakatan bananas left but i planted a bunch of them into these containers so they can uh be brought out to my farm when i'm ready uh but for the time being these should be able to grow in these little uh half gallon containers for about at least a month and they'll uh, put on significant growth inside of these containers um still better to have them in soil or where you want to plant them at because this will still kind of stunt their growth slightly when those roots can't spread out how they want to but a month should be fine for these little guys here um until those roots fill in the pot that they're that they're in uh so we can see a bunch of them here a bunch of them there got them all watered in and whatnot uh, a little fertilizer on some of them others that others don't have it the ones that don't have it might grow a little bit slower than the ones that do have it but they all should still grow at significant uh significantly uh fast growth rates so that's that y'all um a little tip if you're going to plant them in the containers like this don't fill the containers to the top because the contents of the container can spill over as we see here uh, once i started pouring that water on there a little bit of it started pouring out uh be better if you have it with the uh with the with the lip there and um that would help to hold in the water help to hold in any fertilizer you might want to put in there and everything will be able to drain downwards as it's supposed to um tell you what that white jade is looking beautiful i've uh spoken about the sugarloaf plant before so let's go look at some of the sugar loaves that i uh, purchased now white pineapples are very rare you can only get them from hawaii um the uh, best price you can get them at is 56 dollars per pineapple and that's that's if you uh buy them in bulk I'm just smacking all type of big bugs around <laughs> but yeah that's if you buy them in bulk uh here we have the sugar loaf plants growing uh these basically came from the uh, $56 pineapples that I purchased. Uh, these will make very sweet pineapples. 
uh, a tad bit less sweeter than a, the white jade, but if you were to eat one of these, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference, honestly. Um, sweetest pineapple I've, I've ever ate in my life, so I'm honestly stoked about that variety. I also have another variety called Hilo White. So if you, uh, for me, I, I believe there's a, a island called Hilo in Hawaii, Hilo, Hawaii. And that's where the Hilo White comes from. I have it over there. I'm not sure if I can get over there <laughs> as of right now. Yeah, we can. So let's see. Well, there's there's some Hilo Whites in there. I'm not gonna dig too much, but I have the Hilo White. I have the Sugar Loaf White Pineapple. And then I have the White Jade. Hilo White is supposed to be very similar to Sugar Loaf. White Jade is supposed to be its own. Uh, pineapple variety we'll see as time goes by and i start getting fruits from these guys um so that's that y'all hopefully you're able to have a successful growth grout um make sure you plant you uh protect your plants during the winter time and you won't have any issues with these little guys they should be very drought resistant you should be able to handle the heat very well um, the only issues that you might come across is during the cold if you're growing it outdoors and basically you just cover them with plastic. Um, if you want to, if you need to, uh, if you don't have a clue what, what type of plastic I'm talking about, just comment down below or message me directly. However, uh, you can uh, reach me um, or whatever method you have to, for reaching me. Just contact me in that way and I'll give you the exact information you need, guys. So... That's that. See y'all soon. Cheers to a great harvest.